Okay, we begin number, uh, we begin turn number 10 with Alyssa at two hit points and slowed down due to the pounce from the wolf on the last turn. So we don't need to use a third token yet. We will do the automatic attack to just automatically deal one damage to the wolf because the wolf only has one HP, so that's a no-brainer. So we target the wolf, kill it, put it back into the pile of uh, monster creatures, and we get a treasure for that. So let's make a note that we do get a tr to draw a treasure. So let's see what we get. And it's a blessing, surround them, played immediately, discarded at the end of our next hero phase. I'm just remember I'm just now remembering that I got that guided strikes, which uh gets discarded at the end of this phase. So let me actually just get rid of it now. Because I can't use it anymore. So anyway, back to this one. Until the end of your next hero phase, each hero gains a bonus to attack rolls equal to the number of heroes on his or her tile. So not super useful, but maybe we'll get a chance to use it. Um, probably not, though, because for the most part, uh, with Alyssa, we just use this auto damage. So, so we drew our treasure. Um, we can move. We are slowed. But we can still move two, which is enough to get us onto the other tile which is all we need to be able to explore. So we will move, and we will explore. So we're going to move uh, two squares here and here, and that's it. That's all we can do, but it's enough for Alyssa because she has Scout. So the slowed goes away, and <clears throat> now we're going to draw a tile. white so Strahd wakes up and he's pretty close to us so this is not good I don't see any chance of living but uh, let's just play it out to see what happens so we got a white tile uh, we place a monster like normal so let's just do all the normal stuff before we worry about Strahd and we got a rat swarm so we put down the rat swarm grab a rat swarm place it here so we do not have to take an encounter. Now Strahd is awake. The gargoyle is still around. The wolf is gone. But now we have rats. Okay, so we move our time track forward to sunset. When the sun sets, Somewhere in the darkness behind you, you hear the sound of stone scraping on stone. It must be the sound of Strahd's coffin lid sliding open. The vampire has awakened. So when Strahd wakes up, you find the Strahd villain card and place the Strahd figurine on the bone pile on the Strahd's crypt tile. Strahd activates at the start of each player's villain phase. So normally monsters only activate like if you're if you have two or three heroes playing monsters activate only during the active heroes phase, but the villain activates every time. Okay. So we're going to grab Strahd's figurine. Really wish I could paint these, but I don't know anything about figurine painting. Place it on the bone pile. And the first thing that happens in this villain phase now is that Strahd gets to activate. So let's look at his card and see what he does. So if Strahd has five hit points or fewer, we skip that. If Strahd is within one tile, which currently he's not, he's awfully close, but he's not within one tile, so we skip that. If Strahd is within uh, one tile, again, we skip that. If Strahd has five hit points or fewer, we skip that. 
Otherwise, Strahd moves two tiles towards the hero with the most hit points. Well, we're the only hero, so he's going to move, we're going to say, to this bone pile, then to this bone pile. So now he is within one tile of us as of the next turn. So now we go on to our monsters. The uh, gargoyle technically activates and then just instantly deactivates. Now the rats activate. Put me out of my misery. If the rat swarm is within a tile, it is. It moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks. It doesn't have to be adjacent. So if it hits, it hits. If it misses, it misses. So we're just going to go bone pile to bone pile. And roll for the rats. It's a 12. And that's going to be enough to hit because it gets a plus 7, which is a 19, which is enough to hit Alyssa. So that's a 1 damage. Now we're down to 1. And that's going to be the end of turn 10. And for the most part, this game's over. But uh, we'll go ahead and play out turn 11 just so we can be put out of our misery.